Hey folks, this is Frisky. Uh, I got a little video for you. Um, sort of a spiritual follow-up to my overclock video for the 6950 card that I used to have. I did sell that card to a friend. Definitely was something I wanted to upgrade from. I bought a uh, GTX 760. It's the MSI Gaming Edition. Uh, there's a link to that, Amazon, and Newegg in the description. Um, I'm just going to show you my overclock settings, so if any of you are curious, um, what kind of overclocks you can get with the thing. This is what I am seeing. Okay, so the card itself, when you open it up in MSI Afterburner, link to that in the description, um, it has core voltage and power limit and core clock are the main things, or that in the memory clock or what you're adjusting here. Um, the core voltage, when you unlock it through the settings on the app right here, if you hit settings and unlock voltage control, what you can do is bring this up from plus zero or just zero up to plus twelve. That's going to give an extra twelve millivolts. Um, not a whole lot, but if you up the uh, the core clock a little bit too much, it's definitely going to help um, get you that little bit extra performance. The power limit you can set to one hundred and forty five, just because it's not going to use uh, the, that that amount of power until it needs it. You're definitely just going to want to bring it up and. Uh, leave it at max. It's not going to hurt the card. The temperature limit is linked to that power limit, so it prioritizes the power limit over the temperature. I said not to bring it above 95 under any circumstances, um, so at that point it'll start bringing down the power, or at least, um, it, you know, at least it won't uh, it won't bring it above 95. The memory clock and the core clocks. Uh, I brought the core clock to plus 140. Um, if I open up GPU Z here, um, 120, so 1.02 gigahertz on the stock clock. Um, this card comes boosted with an extra 65 megahertz to 1085. However, my overclock also adjusts the boost clock. So when you uh, edit the core voltage and the core clock in Afterburner, the boost clock is going to adjust as well. So the core clock I have set to plus 140, it's going to bring the regular clock from 1020 to 1160 and the boost clock from 1085 to 1225. It's a huge performance increase in that overclock and I was really, really surprised. Uh, the main benchmark I was using was Battlefield 4 and things are so much better. I went from ult uh, ultra quality to, uh, I would say that I was about, um, I don't know, like, 60 frames, 70 frames when it was quiet. Firefights, I dropped to like 30 or 40. I'm idling um, not in firefights at about 110 now. Um, I'm not entirely sure why the performance increases were so large. Um, it might be a little bit of a placebo effect, um, but I definitely there is a, a increase in performance in some way, shape, or form. You, you definitely want to overclock this card if you're willing to. Um, I got to give it another 200 megahertz on the memory clock, bringing it from uh, 1500 to 1700. Uh, for whatever reason, GPU-Z does not like to show the full uh, memory clock. It's probably because I'm not actively using any of it, but it is boosted 200 from the stock speed of 1502. Um, fan speed I leave alone. This card is dead silent, and it never goes above 75, or uh, by, I'd say 70, 75 is probably... Um, the highest it'll go uh, when I'm gaming. I haven't done any actual like burn-in tests with compressor or fur mark or anything like that. I don't use those tools anymore. They just they're not realistic. And if I can play a game for you know seven hours and ha be stressing the GPU that whole time and not have it crash, then that's fine with me. Um, anyways, guys, this is just me wanting to show you what my settings were. Um, 12 on the core voltage, 145 on the power limit, 140 extra on the core clock, and 200 on the memory clock. Left the span, fan speed by itself, and I have no complaints. I have not crashed yet. Um, I might be able to get a little bit extra out of this core clock, but um, that remains to be seen. All right, guys, thanks. If you liked the video, it helped you out at all, give me a thumbs up or a favorite. Um, subscribing always helps, although I can't guarantee that you're going to be getting any sort of regular content um, as far as the topic of the videos. It's kind of all over the place. So uh, if you want to hear what I have to say, then subscribe. Otherwise, don't even worry about it. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.